A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Ravenhurst Mod. So last time we faced the Horde Knight and it went really, really well. Barely had any vultures, uh, the roofs are all burned down now. And yeah, we were able to survive with less damage than last time, I feel like. And we had way more zombies this time. A lot of them sounded to get it sounded like they got stuck on like the west side over there, but there was no damage, so I'm so confused. You can see over here there's ladder missing there, there, and on top over here. But other than that, yep, yeah, the things are still intact. I'm actually gonna be building my own horde base. Now I could take down this hill over here, but I think this hill is a name, since there's like a loot bag and stuff. Sometimes if they have a name, zombies can spawn. So I wonder if I shouldn't just go in the, the backyard over here. It's nice and flat. The only thing is, I don't know if we have enough resources. I usually make my horde bases on pillars. And I'm just afraid that with all of the massive tall, super tall skyscraper um, zombies, they're literally from the floor to about there, that they're going to go underneath the base and wreak havoc on the pillars. So I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while that we're now doing on the server and making a full foundation, a solid base with no pillars and stuff. The only problem is it's going to take a ton of resources. So we have, as you can see, quite a bit of resources over here. We have quite a few concrete blocks. Uh, some, co uh, some concrete over there as well. Do I have any cobble? I can make more cobble, but we have very little clay left. What can I make over here? I think it's just accelerant that I now need. It's done. 100. Okay. So now when it comes to concrete, it's just the murky water keeping back. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just constantly going to make concrete off the concrete off the concrete. And then as soon as I have enough, we'll start building. Because if I make the base 5x5, five five, that is 25 concrete blocks right there. If I make 7x7, seven seven, that's 49 right there. I might make it like an even base just to make sure that it's 6x6 like six six is like 36. So it's not 25, not 49, but at least a little bit more. And then I'm going to do the 1, 2, 3. The 3 bottom blocks concrete. 2 blocks on top of that cobble. And then a hollowed out base all the way for the 11 blocks. Um, it worked really well on the server, so we'll see if it works well over here or not. I am going to go to the traders quickly because after Horde Night they reset. Let's just see if there's anything else over here that I might be able to sell to them. Armor. Uh, this we can actually scrap. Later we're going to need the polymers from this, the, the military fibers. This stuff over here sells 101. Most, most of the stuff I can just scrap. It's great quality, but since it's padded, it's really not going to sell for that much. I'll sell these. See, these are military parts. We need military fibers. If you scrap down military gear, like uh, gloves and stuff, you get this. If you scrap down these, you get these blue ones over here. Oh, wow. We already have almost a 50. I think you need 50 to make the next bow. The crossbow repeater. But for that, I'm going to have to go to the wasteland anyway. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. Grab those. Tools. I'm going to scrap. I want to not scrap. I'm going to sell everything that we're not using right now. We're already on steel tools. So, technically, everything else we can sell. But I do want to keep one of each item. Just so later, if we need to dump stuff, it's easier to just press. Okay, dump. Put it right there. Go back. Bye-bye. I don't have to worry about uh, shift clicking stuff in. Um, How much is this going to sell for? 800. If I do this, 1.5. The more I can sell right now, the better it's going to be for us. Keep this, keep this. Uh, we're busy using spears, so I don't really, really want to sell those two. Did I just, for a moment, I, saw, I thought I saw a rocket launch. I was like, huh, wait, what, when? Okay, and then with this one over here, sells for 228, but if I were to repair it, 1144 just because it's repaired. That's awesome. I can actually do the same with this one as well. That is a normal repair kit. I should have some normal repair kits over here because I made it for the vehicles. But this one's almost all the way repaired, anyways. I'll keep this for the vehicle itself because I keep uh, driving into stuff. Okay, so we're going to visit our trader, get a quest. It should now be tier 6, level 4. That airdrop over there. Did I get that airdrop? Usually when I do a market like that, I go and unmark it when it's done. So for now, let's just see. Now, I should probably go to the trader first and sell a few things. If I go all the way over there, I might be a little bit encumbered and I don't want to have stuff on me when facing enemies. We're going to start getting way more bosses during daytime as well. It happened on the server too. 
The moment you get to a certain level, you just see random bosses and nemesis zombies just walking around. So, <laughs> we have to be really, really, really careful. Um, I almost repaired with 93%. That is really bad. That would have wasted it. Okay, these reset when? Day 61. I'm not quite sure on what day it is in game. Because of the, the month calendar thingy. 26, I think we're on day 57. Yeah, come we're on day 57. Me, friend. Let's see. Come speak with me, friend. We're going to sell this. Put that like so. It doesn't want to take that whole stack for some reason. It's still unsettling how quiet it is inside the trader's window over here. Why did I bring this with me? Okay, we have 46,000. Let's sell this terror heart that I've been holding onto for a long time. Um, I need to make sure that we have a certain amount of vehicle books. We should have everything we need right now. To be able to go and make ourselves a proper vehicle, like a buggy or something. We just need the, the tool that you get from a tier 5 building. But unless we get that helmet piece, we will never be able to go to a radiated POI. Cement. We have a ton of cement. I feel like it's going to be... Uh, just a thousand. I was about to say, I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a waste to buy it, but it, it's, for just a thousand, that's cheap. That's really, really cheap. Okay, since we have oil shale and our vehicles repaired, we have fuel and stuff, I wonder if we shouldn't go to the desert quickly and do a little bit of mining. Also, jobs. See, now it's tier 6 uh, quests, but in tier 4 POIs. Pass and gas, town hall, radio station, echo. Uh, let's do all the ones that are closest to us. St. Moses Cathedral. Yeah, these are going to get worse and worse and worse because we're already getting uh, tier 6, tier 4s. So I wonder what it's going to uh, be like when we actually start unlocking tier 5, tier 6 buildings. When we do the completion for tier 4. That's what makes it so confusing. I've been doing tier 5 quests, but technically it's tier 2 and 3. Just with tier 5 zombies, basically. Okay, so you are filled up with fuel. I should probably give it a little bit more fuel as well. All the food and drink and stuff I'm going to leave behind as well. We don't want to take too much stuff back and forth. The drinks, however, if it's not like these yucca smoothie things, I'm going to put it in that box away because I want it to spoil as fast as possible. Cash, cash. We're going to sell this. It goes over here. Oil. We could sell the oil as well, but we might be able to use it later. So no thank you. Okay, and then the pick we have, this is about to break actually. I wonder what quality pick can we make? Let's see, pick. No, 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 steel pick, 692. I wonder if I shouldn't. Because that might be able to hold three mods instead of just two. This one over here holds two mods, so the next step is a 600, yeah. Um, do we have enough steel? No, we don't. Damn, if it wasn't for that, we might be able to do this right now. We can go with this pick. I think I might be able to repair it once or twice more, and then, yeah, that's going to be a problem. It seems it uses the advanced or this one. Let's see. Okay, it uses the advanced. I want to see if I can't get myself a ton of that uh, carbon. The thing is, we're going to have to be looking for carbon, because carbon's not that easy to find. So, also going to take some coffee. Wait, where is that? Add some coffee in there. I never took it out, did I? I don't mean this coffee. I mean, like, uh, I had uh, blackstrap coffee. It was still inside there, and I was like, okay, cool, we'll leave that for later. Now it's gone. Two, one. I'm also not going to take the AK with me. I only realized after Horde Night, uh, where I put all my stuff for the belt, that I had an AK, a really good AK, like a 200 and something. But it's still not great enough to be able to take with me. I would have broken because I, I mean, I broke a pipe pistol with uh, anti rad mod. At least we have anti rad, anti rad, anti rad, so that's awesome. So for now, at least that's good. And then this one, see, this one can hold three mods. It's level 300, uh, 600. So I should actually probably aim for that next. So I can go for ergonomic grip, this one, and perhaps the stone buster. Okay, food and drink looks to be fine. Let's just drink one more thingy. See, I want these to spoil because they spoil into murky water. And then this coffee we're going to drink when we get closer. Okay, yeah, so I think let's go to Jen's place. I'll take a little bit of fuel with me. We're going to go to Jen's place to see if she sells anything. 
Then we're going to go to Bob's place. And from Bob's place, we're going to go down to our oil shale mines. And we can come back through this way. That way we can stop at that drop to see if there's something there. Although I doubt it. Ooh, skin one chicken and I get a rooster and a hen. Did I just kill a family? <laughs> it feels like that. One chicken gave me both. That's not supposed to happen. I mean, it's sometimes like when you go for a vehicle and you wrench it and you get like two engines out of it. During Hood Night, we skinned like three or four radiated vultures. We got a ton of feathers, but it's still good to every now and then just grab as much feathers as you can. Especially since we're specializing in this crossbow. Uh, and the, the, all the bows we're going to make, the magbow and all that stuff still, that requires more bolts. So even when it requires like uh, fine arrow shafts and stuff, that still uses normal chicken feathers or normal bird feathers. I've been driving past this police vehicle for a while now. I was like, you know what? Since we uh, can just all try and lockpick it. I still wish that all mods had the option. Like you hold down in, you can choose automatic or manual. Because even with manual lockpicking, there's that stress of, damn, will I be able to do it in time? Or will the zombies interfere with me? Okay, that one's a little bit too far. That's looted. Probably also clear the stuff on the inside of here so it's easier to get stuff done. My arrow back. Sometimes it actually struggles getting that shot off. Or getting the arrow back especially. Nice. The zombie or two that side, but it don't seem to be a problem. Okay, we have the right losses on. Let's go. What do you have for us? Oh, just a thousand. Why is it so cheap all of a sudden? Vehicle adventures, Kriplum. Probably buy the schematics that I don't know, but it's 3,200 just for the schematic. I'll rather save it and then later just make my own once we're able to do that. I'm especially looking for the... Well, materials for one. But I'm looking for coal because I need to make gunpowder. I'm looking for gunpowder itself. Nitrate we actually have a few stacks of. Apparently I have to go to the snow to get more. And then I'm looking for the hazmat piece. If I can buy that, that'll be amazing. Although I don't Thank think you so you're much. able to buy hazmat hey, pieces, which sucks. Let's see. Buy all the drinks. See, the more drinks I buy, the more it's going to spoil. And then the more they spoil, the more murky water we get. And the more murky water we get, the more we'll be able to go and make ourselves some concrete mix. My goal is to have like a whole base just made of pure, a pure concrete mix. Every time I see a chicken, I have to go for it because you need two hens. No, two, yeah, two roosters and three hens. I think we have everything now. Be able to make ourselves a chicken coop, although I think we need to have the farming skill up a bit, living off the land. Hello, hello, hello. I just realized the snow is also pretty close by. I wonder if I shouldn't go explore the snow biome a bit. If we can find a really awesome town to live in that's not the uh, forest or something, I'll, I'll go for it. It's not particularly my cup of tea, but if we can find a really cool uh, town, then yeah, that might be worth the move. But that will have to be before I even start building my wood base, because I'm not building multiple. After going for all of the bird's nests that we did, not going out of my way, I only have 149 uh, feathers. That's a little bit expensive. Just the thing for what's ailing you. I should probably do this. I'm most likely going to use the o no weapon after the bow, and then I can swap to a melee. Okay, so rat red. Oh, a rat bike. That's faster than my uh, dirt bike. Damn. So we have to do as many quests as possible for coin. If I can get a ton of cash, we can just buy the vehicles we need. Oh, I need to find Trader U. Yeah, Trader U. I think he's the one that sold me that gun in uh, the server. No, no, it was wrecked. But yeah, a different traders sell different things. So you might be able to buy some really awesome stuff if you just go and look for them every time they reset. That's also another reason why we should technically go to like the desert biome and stuff. Or, and the snow biome. Just explore, find more traders. More traders you find, the more stuff we can buy. Deal. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that just now. I insta-clicked the, yep, 
item. Sure, I'll take that super expensive thing. But yeah, if I can buy a rat bike, that's faster. I think that's better than a motorcycle. Not only for storage, but way it's it's like the dirt bike with speed, but the, the motorcycle with storage. Gratitude. Although, I'm going to show you guys this. Brand. Motorcycle. Motorcycle chassis. 225 steel. Buggy. No steel whatsoever, just car parts. These are the things you get when you wrench vehicles with a crowbar. And there's every now and then on the corner you'll see car parts and chairs and stuff laying around. You can even go wrench those. It does exactly the same thing. So yeah, all we have to do is keep our eyes open for those parts and we can make a buggy next. But we need the, the mechanics workstation and we need a socket. And you only get those in tier 5 uh, loots. So we can't do anything until we get that hazmat helmet. Sometimes as I'm talking, I forget what I'm busy talking about. But yeah, we need a hazmat helmet. And as soon as we have the hazmat helmet, we'll be able to finally go into tier 5 radiated. And that's long before we can even do tier 5 radiated quests. Because it seems that the quest uh, is mismatched at the moment in the single player. Technically, tier 6 is supposed to be tier 6. Hello, hello, hello. Tier 6 is supposed to be uh, like tier 6 in infested. That's a tier 5 radiated POI. But we're getting tier 6s at the moment that are in tier 4 buildings. That's a bad matchup. Okay, so now while driving around, apparently you mustn't just focus on the nodes above. But the nodes do help. So we're looking for like a blackish kind of small uh, node on top. That is the carbon. So if it's a node but it's a dark and it's not oil shell, we know that that's the one we're looking for. Apparently on the Discord, in the Ravener Discord, it says don't... Don't just use the, the stuff on top. Don't just go for like, okay, the stone is uh, giving this and must give that. Do you know in Darkness Falls, if you break the stone down, it gives you, say, for example, lead. So, you know, okay, there's a lead mine underneath. And then also there's some of these nodes. There's like a lead node. You're like, okay, cool. There must be lead close by. But apparently on the Discord itself, it says, don't just make do with that. Just go mining. Apparently you can get all resources and all biomes, except obviously the special ores like... Um, Carbon and that stuff. Carbon's in the desert. Uh, in the desert. Tungsten is in the wasteland. Are, are those three? Is that a mini pig horde? Those three pigs are just attacking me. Damn. See, this is oil shell. Apparently, carbon is very close to oil shell. Most people have reported they've found theirs close to oil shell. As you guys know, we uh, we have a oil shell mine that we're heading to right now. It's pretty deep, and I haven't found a single sign of carbon. We found chromium, but that's not going to help us right now. We need carbon. Ooh, I think I found it. Yes, 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 this is carbon. For some reason, when I drove past it just now, it, found, it looked like there was a red flashing thing over here. We're still straight on the way there. Yeah, it looked like there's a red flash coming from the resource itself. I don't know if that's uh, just my mind telling me, hey, there it is, or if that's the game just now that flashed. Something flashed, that's all I know. Can I kill? Sometimes there's no drop at all, other times you have to just aim a little bit above their heads to make sure that drop catches them. Okay, so we're gonna move this away. I don't want to deal with zombies and stuff, so I want to try and make sure. Man, his turn was slow just now. If it didn't turn that slow, I might have actually had more chance. Okay, 12. Only 12. I think with the better tools, like, uh, I think it's Chrome next and then Tungsten or something. But the, the better the tool, the more you actually get out of this. I want to see if it actually goes in the ground or if it's just a few blocks underneath. If it's just a few blocks underneath, that's going to be super expensive and hard to find. It should be, just like in like uh, Titanium and stuff in Darkness Falls, that as soon as you start digging down over here, you're going to start getting more and more and more. But I have to pay attention to my surroundings and make sure no zombies are getting close. Especially since my game stage over here is 257. The moment it goes over 300, we can actually get bosses here with us during daytime. And the nice thing is I'm overheating, but as long as I can just drink a few things, like my yucca juice over there, it's going to cool me down. It still does, like, uh, red teas and yucca juices and stuff should still, uh, cool you down, right? It's been a while since I actually checked what this stuff does. Yes! Okay, cool. The mine seems to be going on. So we'll do this. 
I have to make sure I can get out of here. At least we should be able to repair... Oh, it's almost broken. We should be able to repair this, but I'm just going to make sure that we don't get stuck down here. I'm going to try and get all of these. Apparently, you get to a certain point where it starts giving you a different resource. Then you're like, okay, you're done. Oh, there's some coal over here as well. That was definitely a chunk of coal. That's good. That's really, really good. I'm definitely going to be mining for more coal as well. We have like three stacks of nitrate at the base, but we have no coal at all. Okay, so I had to pick, uh, repair my pick just now. We have basically 500 carbon over here. I think we should come back for this. So we'll just mark that this is our carbon mine. Now to actually get away out of here. <laughs> we have to make sure that we mark this as a carbon mine. We should be able to get some more carbon on the map. The only problem is sometimes, yeah, uh, the resources do still have color like in previous alphas, but sometimes the color... I don't know if it's, uh, this mod deactivated or something, but it's not as easy to see. So we'll just make this our... Carbon mine. Should probably be using the right images as well, but that's fine. Do this. Now I need to get out. There's been zombies smacking on top of here. But luckily, we have our bow, a trusty bow, so we've been able to shoot them from a distance. Do this. Jump over here. Um, do I have anything to repair that with? No. Basically, I want to go and make sure we, we can see this from a distance. Should be fine. No, that zombie corpse is in the way. I'm going to have to skin that zombie to be able to put a pillow over here. Because this is so in the ground, you can't really see it. Zombies shouldn't go inside if I do this. Hopefully. Okay, now I don't have any resources left, so I need to be careful. Um, It seems this road over here leads all the way through. So I'm going to be taking that out. It's going to, one, allow me to explore unvisited lands, and then two, as well, just hopefully is the best route forward or back to the base. We have a shale mine over there, but now that we have carbon, we don't have to worry. If I come across another carbon mine, I'm actually going to mark it. The more carbon we can find right now, the better, because this, with, I think, iron and clay, gives you steel. And we desperately need steel right now. What is that? That's just a trash bag. Ooh... Why is there a military? Is this the... No, it's not the Batcave. This is the POI that looks a lot like the Batcave. But I'm actually thinking that perhaps we can get some hazmat pieces by looting these. I I'm hoping. At the moment, we really just need that headpiece. We keep getting like an infested caches and stuff. Everything except the, the headpiece. We're getting the gloves, the boots, all that stuff. I'm actually a massive fan. Ooh, look at the Terra. Hello, Terra. Basically, the plus zombies. So, that's uh, the tourist with the sledge, Big Mama with the uh, steel clubs, uh, the police with the baton, the hazmat with the stun, uh, stun baton. We've actually had that zombie pack on servers before. Th those are also terrors. So, there's bosses, there's nemesis zombies, there's terrors. Um, at least the terrors aren't also like the guppy pack. I think it's only the, uh, the zombie plus, or the plus zombie pack. So if you guys want to uh, have that in your games, look for the plus zombie pack. It's basically also there's a, a what do you call that? A spider zombie a drone bomber, just like in Ways UK mod. So he has a, a drone on his back and he throws pipe bombs at you. And there's even one from Wild West mod, where there's a spider being carried around by a vulture and it actually drops molotovs on you. So you have to be uh, really paying attention to your surroundings during Horde Nights with all of these extra awesome zombies coming in. Okay, we're actually going to be coming across that airdrop over there. I'm hoping we haven't done it yet. Although that also means we have to make some space. Ooh, okay. Um, That's not good. Food, I'll eat that. That's a little bit of a waste. The less encumbered we are right now, the better. But I don't really have stuff to drop. All of the stuff's important. I want these drinks to spoil and everything else that we're going to use. Even the jar. Jaws are super, super important. So I'm still seven items encumbered. Hopefully we can get there before nighttime. Oh, chicken. Hopefully we can get there before nighttime uh, so we don't have to worry. Oh, more hens. About bosses and stuff joining us over here now with this drop. So just as we hit that massive radiator, we turn to the right. Make sure there's no ferals. Nice thing about this bow. Three shots, baby! This bow makes all the difference in the world. 
Not having to reload after every missed or failed or whatever shot. Even if you fail, you can just shoot two more times. Okay, that's over there. Bye bye. Oh, now we might not have enough, enough space on us. Please tell me you have enough space and please tell me this can be something awesome. If this can be the hazmat uh, helmet, that'd be awesome. Because you do get those in drops as well. Damn it. Okay, now we need space because we definitely don't have enough. Um, damn. Okay, what? We have lead at the base. We have a lot of halides and we have a lot of limestone, even though no, that can be used for concrete mix. Bones we have at the base. One more, one more, one more. I can actually take one of the drinks, I think. Ooh, okay, that one. Yeah, um, these airdrops actually have a chance to have like a ton of hazmat stuff in. I don't know if you already have to unlock tier fives first before getting that. But on the server, a lot of these drops have all the pieces we're looking for. So if we can constantly just look at those or uh, go for the airdrops and perhaps get lucky with a helmet piece, that'd be awesome. Although on a server, there's always two airdrops that drop instead of one. So we have to wait three days every time and hope for a helmet. See, this hill of here is called Backpack Hill. Now, that might just be... Oh, hello, Sp uh, Screamer. You know what? Uh, that seems like also a Screamer. No, it's not. It's only the one. If she brings zombies in, awesome. We can, we can deal with them. I think she's dead, right? Nope. We have to be careful because she brings in radiated cops as well. I definitely had radiated cops at one time. It seems that in the beginning the screamers didn't really work. Uh, like they were screaming but nothing was really spawning. And now they definitely spawn. Nice carbon. I can't believe we finally found carbon. And then we need some wood over here. It's going to take sticks. Whoa. That was a bit of stutter just now. Uh, yeah, let's go for that for now. And then I just have to put all of this stuff away and then we can see what else I need to put in there. We'll probably also start making steel bolts. Do we have those? Bolt. Yes, steel crossbow bolt. I can make these, but we need a fine arrow shaft and scrap polymers. We have steel arrowheads. Oh, wow. I actually have... Yeah, we can actually make quite a few already. Although with my aiming, sometimes uh, it's not worth it. I miss way too much. Drinks we can put over there to make a lot of space. Building materials. Okay, and now we go for... Oh, look at the, the steel pick level. It went over 700 because of the mining and stuff just now. It seems my mining skill went up. Uh, pick. Pick, pick, pick. Steel pick. Yeah, that was level 696, I think. And because just a little, a little bit of mining, we were able to get that just now. That's awesome. Okay, and then the stone, I'm just going to keep dropping over there. And then we can make my, a more fine arrow shaft. Oh, okay. Oh, the drinks over here spoiled. So when I opened this up, it popped out of the container. I was so confused as to where that just came from. These I need to eat and drink before they spoil. That's just a waste. Although, as long as you can keep them in here, I've noticed if you make blackstrap coffee, for example, we do have the filtered water now. Why is that not picking up? If you make these over here, it doesn't spoil. It's the moment you take it out over here that it starts to spoil. I should probably also go, uh, carry around like my MREs and stuff with me as we go. Drop that, drop that. What is this? Grilled potato. That's 15 food. 50 food. That is 10 food. And this, I think, is 50, uh, 53 food. Nice. Not bad. Um, the Rockbuster candy, I should probably go... Oh, I could have used that when mining carbon. Live and learn. Live and learn. It's a shame I can't put this. I know in the composter. Where did I just put that? In the composter over here, you can still go and put stuff over here. But I wish I could put it over here in this output. Because that way, then at least that, then I can take the coffee and this next time when I go mining. I definitely want to go back to the desert and mine with that. Because we're going to need so much more steel. I'm going to curious to see how much steel we can get with the amount of resources we just found. And then I want to smelt all of this stuff down, make some pallets and stuff with it, and see if I can actually just get a little bit more space. I think at the moment we can't make the iron pallets. Yeah, we need iron mining. Art of, or not iron mining, art of mining volume 5. The moment we have this, we'll be able to make iron pallets and stuff as well. At the moment we can only make stone and wood. And yeah, they're not really filling up that much, unfortunately. 
It's the iron that is a massive, massive thing over here. Um, fuel. Where did I see? Oh, yeah. yeah I want to check for empty cans. See, we already ran out of cans again. So, technically, the scrap polymers, you can make your own cans. Or you can use the scrap polymers for more arrows. And I think arrows are more important. I'm actually going to put that over here. I need it to finish in time. Um, bolt. Exploding bolts. They require steel arrows as well. Uh, no, we can, we'll make proper explosives. The, the bolts, were, it's nice with this thing because you can fire three bolts, three explosive, explosive bolts. But when we're doing high tier PRIs, like tier 4s and stuff, we're going to need these steel bolts. I'll take one stack of iron and one stack of steel with me when I'm questing. Okay, and then we need to take some iron. I have to constantly be smelting in iron a as well. Like an 8 minute sub, I have to uh, put more in. Okay, and then we just need the resources, I mean the tools. And the nice thing is, for those of you that know, you can actually go and do this. You see how it's going to take 6 minutes 18. Do this. 4 minutes 40, uh, 49. So you have, because it allows it. I feel I don't feel like that's cheating at all because it allows it to do it. So we put these in the Yeah, I should actually make a box for this. And then the moment all of this is smelted in, I can just go and put the... the well, I have to put one of the crucible in. Because the crucible allows us to craft steel. Yeah, crucible required. So for the crucible... I'll, oh, for the steel, I put one crucible in and two anvils. Because then it makes the crafting time faster. It's nice being on a server where I'm learning all of these tricks and stuff. Okay, um... Yeah, all the other... Tra I think I should use the normal forges. For like, uh, just uh, average stuff. Uh, forged iron, cement, uh, bricks, that kind of thing. That means I can also just keep the brick molds and stuff in here. And then I'll use uh, this one over here, the blacksmith forge to craft more advanced stuff. Can you also make... Okay, this is just for steel arrows. If I want to make iron ones, I'll still have to use one of these. I should actually put a sign. One's for iron, one's for steel, or one for whatever. So this one's going to have normal tools in it. This one's going to have like the... Uh, Arrow molds and the brick mold and stuff in it. Like so. I don't know why you need an anvil over here. So I think that's just for another mold slot. Because basically the anvil is just for steel and steel you make over here. So it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. The moment I put a crucible in here, it's gonna help. This is my cell box. I wonder if I shouldn't put in another box for two. Uh no, we can't. Mark those. Where's the others that I had? I could have sworn I had a little bit more of those storage. I want to put the, uh, over here tools. It just has to be a small box. Unless the cell box can be a normal iffy box like this. So we'll put that over there. Wait, where did I just go? Hello? I hate it when I do that. I take a stack over and instead of putting it in my inventory, I keep it inside. Then I'm like, huh? Where did it go? Because these do not have writable storages, but you can actually put this in there. And then this over here, we're going to make our tools. So this is just for like forge stuff. We can put the crucible in there. We can put some uh, molds in there. Anything related to the forge itself, we put inside over there. So this and these. So the moment we're done smelting, we can just put these three in. We replace the other three in there. And then that should do the trick. Every now and then, thanks to the smelting speed, I should just make sure I constantly put iron in during the night. I think the whole night, I'm just going to uh, sit here putting some iron in. And the moment the clay is done, yeah, I'll put some iron in the here as well. Technically, I can just split the carbon and then wait for the carbon to be done. I actually want to see how much steel we can make, but we'll check that next time. So if you guys liked this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.